Mr. Wright here wanted to go over a lesson 4.2 for horns only. You'll see this is just for the horns only. Uh, the other brass instruments are not going to be playing through this because this is to help us to get ready to play with them. They're all playing in octaves nice and neatly, but we kind of play in between the trumpets and trombones many times. So we're going to do some exercises. And this one exercise I've come up with is what I call the five note walk up. Uh, what it is, it, it, it's a way for us to find our pitch, our starting pitch uh, on the horn. So um, when you play with just a regular relaxed uh, embouchure on the horn, usually this note right here, that low C comes out. Now, before you play it, I want you to remember all the little embouchure basics that we talked about. You want to take your pinky to space out your teeth and lips like that, and you'll begin each note with a tongue like And so when you put your mouthpiece, your lips up to the mouthpiece, you're not going to mash your lips together. You'll be spaced apart a little bit. And um, you want to so, try playing that low C just like so. And um, you start with the tongue, have your lips and teeth spread apart. And have your lips, but they do need to be flexed up against your teeth. You don't want to puff your cheeks like, like that. You don't want to smile to play a note. You just want to have it flexed up against your teeth like you're going, like you're, you burn your finger. You're blowing off your finger. The same exact embouchure that you put your mouth in. So try playing that low C. Start it with a tongue going. And you may practice. You might need to practice just playing that one note for quite a while. When I first got my trombone as a beginner, I spent four hours just working on just a note to get that note to sound right. So try that again. Low C. Okay, now, as we remember from lesson one and two, that this is a whole note. It takes up the whole measure, and, uh, and it's going to get four beats in this time signature. And so we're going to hold that out for four no notes. In this diagram, it shows that we're not going to press down any valves. And this one right there, that's the one that's closest to your nose, this one right here. So you don't push down any valves. And this is a double horn that I'm using, but I'm not going to press the trigger down to take it to the B flat side. These longer tuning slides, this side right here is the F side. If you have a single horn, your horn is like this side right here. When I press down the trigger, it changes it to these shorter valves on the back side, tuning slides on the back side. So, um, but I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna play the regular open horn, the horn and F type side. So uh, let's try this low C and we'll play these in whole notes, four beats a piece, and we'll push down a first valve, of this first one right here closest to your nose and work our way up. So here we go, low open C. One, two, three. Now I just gave each one four beats a piece and we need to try it, you can try it again. You may want to stop the video and uh, well, I might do that when just again, we're just uh, when I'm ready to start this note, I just start it with the tongue again. Like I'm just blowing constant air and I just re articulate. I use my tongue again when I want to restart this note. So I'm going like that. So let's try that again. One, and this is low open C. You want to start each note with the tongue, but just kind of keep the air flowing the whole time. One, and if you have to take a breath somewhere in here, that's fine. One, two, three. Okay. So it's what I call the five note walk up. Notice I'm going open, first valve, open, first valve, open. And every other note is just open. So let's try, and you if you need to go over that several more times, stop the video, try that, or go with the video, either one, that's perfectly normal. Nothing wrong with that. Um, here's the same thing, except it's in half notes, two beats a piece. They only take up half the measure. And instead of putting the diagram, I put just the finger. This is open, no valves down, 
first valve, open, first valve, open. So what I mean by open is I'm not pushing down any valves at all. So it goes up and then we'll come back down and then notice this arpeggio right here. We're playing every other note and these, when we play these, these notes on the line, the ledger line, the line, the line, notice that they're open, no valves down. So let's try this one right here in half notes, two beats a piece. You want to start each note with the tongue. Make sure you spread the teeth and lips apart. One, two, three. Something I forgot to mention that's really, really important is to not move your jaw when you're doing when you're playing these notes. Uh, when we talk, I'm moving my jaw right now. I'm talking, moving my jaw. That's a normal thing. But when you play an instrument, no matter what instrument, you do not move the jaw. If you move the jaw, it starts to sound like. It kind of gets a chewing sound. That's pretty nasty. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure your jaw is very, very still. Now, later on, we may add some vibrato where I use a little bit of jaw vibrato, just barely move more, more really just my lips. Uh, like I may hit a long sustained note and I'll trail it off with a little bit of vibrato like this, like sound like G, the top note. I just barely went wah, 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 with my lips right there, just toward the end. So it's good to hit, just nail the pitch, a sustained tone, and then trail the note off with a little bit of vibrato, just to kind of give it a, just a little bit of beauty. But uh, let's now, we're going to play the same exercise, number three, except I didn't put in the, the, the fingerings here. So if you need to study it, you know, it's pretty simple though, but if you need to review number two, go ahead. But we're going to try number three now. And one, two, three. And if your pitch sounds a little bit high, you know, I've pulled out my tuning slides about a quarter of an inch, these little tuning slides right here and here. And um, your first valve tuning slide, when you move one of these, you have to press down the corresponding uh, valve that connects to it. And usually the middle one, mine's out just a tiny bit, but uh, this third one, about right here, about a quarter of an inch. And uh, so if you sound like you're above the pitch that I'm playing just slightly, you may want to pull some of those tuning slides out to where you can play in tune with them. Um, or if you're lower, you can maybe try pushing some of them in. Number four, uh, we've got quarter notes here. One beat a piece because they're solid on the inside and they have the stem. See, these look like whole notes, except they have the stem. We go a step further here with a quarter note that's solid on the inside with the stem. So these are one beat a piece like ta, ta, ta. Then you come back down like that. So let's try number four here. Three and a one, two, three. This next one, exercise number five, we're just going C, D, C. Sorry, I got a lot of allergies going on. So let's just play through this one. I think this one's fairly simple. We're just kind of doing some stepwise motion here. Number five, one, two, three. <laughs> So you're happy.
having to remember on number five, just just what, how notes are fingered. So if you're having a hard time with number five, and you probably are, it's pretty normal if you are having a problem with it, what you do is just go back uh, maybe to number two again. Just look and say, oh, okay, that's the first valve, C. Or you may need to go up here. There's my first valve, C, uh, open C, first valve, D. E is open. It's on the bottom line. Just like study it, you know, memorize these. Uh, first valve, F, in the bottom space. And just kind of study where those are. And then play through here, these exercises. You know, it's like in a math book. If you don't understand, just go back in the book. Uh, till you understand what you're doing and then work your way slowly forward again. It's kind of that way with everything in life. Um, but again, number five, uh, you're just memorizing, you know, ah, oh, first valve D to open E, first valve D. And uh, so I'm just kind of going up in steps. So you can keep working on that one. This may take us a while to master this lesson. Number six, um, we're going up the scale, coming down, and then we do some uh, just kind of going up and down the, the scale on this one. So this is not as difficult probably as number five. So here we go, number six. One, two, three. <laughs> cursor there. I bumped it on the thing and changed it. So that's number six. All right. Some kind of a, you, you're, you're just starting randomly on a high G. You're just having to remember certain notes. Now, here we go from a low C to the high G. Um, one, two, three, four, five steps here. Like a line, space, line, space, line, like do, re, mi, fa, so. <laughs> You may want to practice because to play those two notes, we're going from a low C, which is say this is your bottom teeth and here's your your, your lips. You're going, your lips are, I'll, I'll swap them so I'm right-handed. Uh, you're basically, you know, you're below C, your lips are just more relaxed, flapping that way. But for the upper one, you're firming them up to the teeth to play that high note. So it's ta, da, ta. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. So you're going from the low C right here you're flexing your lips up against the teeth to play that higher G. Then you come down to the E, so you got to control how much you relax. Then to the D, first valve. So this is open, open, open. Then the first valve, D. Then we would kind of do the whole thing again, except twice as fast, because we're going to quarter notes here. Ready? Half notes here. Two beats, two beats a piece. Make sure you uh, start each note with a tongue. Have your teeth and lips spread apart. Don't pinch your lips together. Ready? And one, two, three. hear a popping noise, a gurgling sound. What I'm going to do is empty out my horn. When you're playing, um, it's not spit that collects inside, even in the mouthpiece. That's just condensation. Your warm, moist air is collecting on this, these, the, this steel that's kind of cool, just like in a, a steam on a bathroom mirror. Um, what I'm going to do, since this is a double horn, I'm going to mash down every valve I've got. And this is how you empty out a, a double horn. Single horns is you might want to just start rolling toward the toward the lead pipe. This is the lead pipe right here. But I'm gonna mash down every valve I've got, and I'm just gonna roll it towards the lead pipe. And wow, good bit came out just then. But I'm gonna continue on around because I'm gonna let it gravity pull all that condensation to this valve right or this tuning slide right here. I'm gonna empty that out. Yeah, look out below, and that's just condensation. Okay, mixed with a little bit of valve oil. And then I'm going to come around to my front valve here. I'm going to press down this corresponding uh, valve for this tuning slide. Empty that one out. Usually there's not much there, but then I'm going to press down my trigger and my third valve to get this one. Usually there's a little bit in here. 
but not much. Okay, I'm just playing open notes, so I guess I wouldn't I wouldn't need to be dealing with that valve because it's only going to affect the valves that we open up. I'm using just this first one. So, which means maybe I should check this guy. No, I've already emptied it out using that technique. I've opened up all of my valves and drained out. So that's French horn players. We have to kind of do that a lot. If you had our, our horn of every ring, and we do that usually during a rest very quickly. And I like to set my mouthpiece kind of in my lap or on the music stand. Uh, you don't want to set your mouthpiece like on a piece of metal like that because it'll start to scratch this and then it'll start to scratch your lips. So I like to like stick it right here in, in, on my lap and you know, like a, the, the way the folds of my pants are, just kind of lay it in there, just kind of keep it from falling. And then it, I'll pop it back in during the rest of a song. Now, I think we were on, we did number seven. Let's start on number eight now, okay? Starts on that high G right there. Not really high G, but it's kind of high. So it's this note right here. So we'll start off on this G and we'll work our way down, kind of jumping around a little bit here. Ready? One, two, three. Let me try that again. So I messed up right there. All right, there uh, I played. I think I did something. I didn't go down far enough for the D, I believe it was. So let me try that one again. <laughs> I have to practice. Ready? And one, two on a G. did it again. It is so hard. I didn't realize it would be so hard to point to the note with a cursor on the screen and then actually play with the other hand at the same time and count the note values and everything. So uh, number nine though. Okay, but that's just make sure you go down to the D. Don't do what I did. And then um, let's see. Oh, since most of these next two exercises are two measure phrases with one valve combination. That means all this right here, we're going to play this open valve. All this is first valve, open valve, first valve, except for that last note is open valve. So let's try this one. This should be pretty easy. So this is all open valve right here. One, two, three. Should have put a double bar right there. Sorry about that. And right there too. Mm, Got to fix that. Now look at number 10. This is all open valve, open valve. And then this is all first valve, first valve, open valve. Yeah. First valve, first valve, open, open, open. All right. So this one's pretty simple too. Yay. Number 10. Maybe I can play this one right. Ready? One, two, aim. <laughs> times when I do that, when I make a little spia kind of sound like that, it's because I'm not really using my tongue properly. I'm, I'm just kind of just blowing air. If you just blow air like sometimes that'll happen. Also, I know a lot of students, I did this as a, as a beginning student, I would uh, use the back of my throat. I would go, uh, 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 instead of using my tongue. Believe me, it is so much easier just to say tuh, 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 with the tongue. You'll be so much faster. Because if you're using the back of your throat, <laughs> you know, there's only so fast, you, you just can't go fast. You can't play fast notes. So if you use your tongue, though, there's also later on, we'll be doing what's called double tonguing, what I was just doing. Like, uh, 
See, if you use the back of your throat, <laughs> that won't work, right? So you got to um, use your tongue, like saying ta, and then the way I double tongue is going tika, 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 tika. Practice saying that. Tika, 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 you know. Right? So it's called double tongue. And you can practice that just riding down the road in the back seat of the car. Or right in the front seat as well. So just different things, but uh, work on this. This is a lot in this one lesson. Uh, these five notes, the five note walk up, as I said, you may have to just start here and just spend, um, you know, a good bit of time just working on these notes and just drilling yourself in how these notes are fingered. And uh, these are, uh, this will get us ready. This the, and the next few lessons get us ready to be able to play with the trumpets and trombones, the baritones, the tuba, and, and with the rest of the band. So um, you got you're basically in, it's the horn section. We're kind of in uh, you know what's it called intensive care right now to get you ready because you're having to do some things and playing some ranges uh, that are a little more difficult for you. These are not. This is like some of your most easy and easy notes on the horn right here. But then this will kind of get us ready for the other stuff.